Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4 Kaiserreich, Germany. This will probably be the final episode of the campaign. We, we basically have done all the wars. We're really just kind of getting the the last remnants of the post-war tree finished here. Because, like, who else is there to fight? I mean, we can technically fight the Entente, but that does not sound... Why do you keep, um... This keeps alerting me. Even though I keep turning it off, it's like, are you sure? Are you sure you don't want to give Gibraltar to the Spanish? Absolutely not. There is not a reality. Because I keep... I guess it disappears and it, like, shows back up, and I don't know why that is. But there, either way, there's not a reality I can see myself where I want to give the Spanish Gibraltar. Like, that's never, ever going to happen. Like, it just doesn't even make any sense. What army are you? You're these guys? Sure, let's put you here, then. Oh, moderate. So what, what do you actually do? We get one civilian factory in exchange for disbanding 10% of our divisions. Does that, to me, that doesn't sound like a great deal. I don't know about the rest of you, but that, that is a deal that I probably just simply would not take. Oh, yeah, what I want to do, actually, was um, not cap capture Cypher. I want to... Rescue one of our agents, please. Let's send you. Commence when ready. And just keep researching. Whatever. What whatever is here, you can do that. Naval synthetic refineries. Sure, let's get a can full more of you. I mean, we're going to throw anti-aircraft guns everywhere. They don't take building slots, so... There we go. If anyone ever threatens German hegemony again, they are not going to ever be able to fly a plane over Germany. Like, that is never going to uh, occur. Okay, let's get some experimental rockets. Atomic research is almost done in 46 days. Like, what? Do we even know what you guys are doing? You're trying to electrify the nation? Canada, it's Shock River Labs. Mexico just doing air production. Like, nothing even super, super crazy here. I mean, what I could do is I could send some volunteers to Ethiopia. In order to get them to actually align themselves with us. And you know what? Sure, why not? Here you go, Ethiopia. You can have some volunteers. What are you guys actually doing? World tension is at 98%, but it should start going down over time. I don't know how long that's going to take. Peru, Colombia at war... The Somalian war. Like, that should end soon. And when we have German troops on the field, I can't imagine the Somalians are going to be able to put up any kind of actual resistance. Do you want to ban people? Is there any reason not to? Sure, why not? Let, let's... Now that the war's been over, now it's time to start arresting and banning everybody. So what is this? It's, I mean, 8% stability, 8% war support. Sure. Are we actually gaining this back? By 0.1% per week, which is not very quick. But it's okay. We're at 39%. Could could be worse. India, by the way, is also uh, really pushing a lot of places right now. But we will get civilian control of the army. More organization, more factory output. We can also then consolidate Thuringia, which actually does give us an event. I do notice, we're looking at a lot of these things uh, down here. They don't actually give us anything. Okay, I want you troops to all be here. Ethiopia. I don't know how you have not won this war yet. Like, Somalia is not really even, like, a major threat. Like, what's, what's your hold up here? I genuinely don't understand. We'll send our own troops down. It, it won't be a problem for the German army. I'm just I'm just a little concerned for you. We get po we get 2.59 political power per day. That's pretty good. That that that's a nice number to have. I mean I will say Somalia does have a decent number of troops. But still, like, they're not gonna be able to withstand anything we could possibly throw at them. So I'm not super concerned. Armor train, why not? 
Um, Anti-Air 3, Anti-Tank 3. And we just need to take uh, Mogadishu. Yeah, like we just, we basically just kicked their asses and there's not, there's nothing they can do about it. But then hopefully we can maybe get uh, Ethiopia to join our faction. I mean, that'd be nice. Will they do it? I don't know, but it would be nice. Can like one of my divisions just kill them? Then the answer is yes. Even though their supplies are also just kind of at the moment, dog shit. They're still more than okay. Like, they sent some troops over to Mogadishu. You know, just force attack your way in. Gives you a nice little bonus against them. They're not going to get reinforcements in here in time. We take Mogadishu. Somalia will collapse. And then, hopefully, Ethiopia will be willing to join us. Ethiopia! Negotiate with the federal state. Does this actually just take down randomly? We'll do this. It's line Ethiopia. Ethiopia is accepted! After some deliberation, the Ethiopia has accepted our invitation to join the Reich's Pact, as we have uh, dearly hoped they would. A new member of our alliance is generally welcome, bringing further security for each other, and at the very least, ensuring peace between members within it. Their contribution to the military forces, funding, and diplomatic weight will uh, hopefully advance the mutual aid to the Re interest of the Reich's Pact, but there are some current, uh, concerns ahead. Another island in the pact does mean further resources contributed to our combined forces, although any additional dangers they add to our faction is a danger that will have to be uh, taken in common. I'm not worried about Ethiopia starting up some sort of stupid conflict. I can't see a reality in which that happens. Okay? We'll be, we'll be more than fine. Demobilize? No, no, no. No, no demobilizing will ever be allowed to occur. So then we can do some Prussian local government reform. You require Rudolf uh, Hildenberg to be a um, an advisor. Is there a reason why I don't have him? Rudolf Hindenburg. We can take him. I mean, if he gives us a... Um... Yeah, we can probably replace uh, Fritz here. The agony of German conservatism. The government of the Duke, uh, Democratic Union was a nightmare for the German conservatives. The dream of the reformists and the socialists finally became true, and the masses were convinced by their populistic slogans. So they abandoned the already shrinking conservative electorate. The DVLP suffered internal splits and conflicts in the aftermath of the 36th election, as uh, Hassel's and uh, Hugenberg's egos clashed once more. While the DKP now had a competitor, the newly established CVP uh, put forth strong competition for the vote of the conservative rural Protestant electorate. Some leading conservative figures responded by, with a depressive resignation, believing that there is no place left for them in their homeland any longer. But others continue to fight. The DKP will struggle for survival in the post-Wilhelm Constitution world. Far from uh, all Protestant rural voters will switch to the CVP, but it's hardly a white electorate in the first place. The DKP's uh, future is uh, thus uncertain. Perhaps it's finally time to orchestrate the unity of the Protestant German right. Yeah, it was not possible before, but perhaps the remains of the DVLP can be stitched together into something workable once more. Perhaps they can make the urban pivot. There are all, uh, there are uh, quite a few frustrated and satisfied petty burgers uh, who voted for the uh, Rich Party or the LVP, and uh, who could be turned towards reactionary politics. Okay, so they've gone down by 1%. I mean, they're already at zero, so... I mean, the SPD have such an overwhelming dominant uh, position within Germany. That I'm not really too sure, or really too worried about what anything anyone else could possibly say. I'm feel I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. How is everybody else doing? Got these troops against Somalia. Romania, you know we could deploy an army on the Romanian border. You know what, purple? Let's station you here. Not that I think we're going to be invading Romania, but, you know, just on the off chance, maybe. Maybe there's something there. Okay, 47 days. The natural party of governance. Okay, 42 days on you. Let's do the consolidation of Thuringia first. 
We'll kind of see what that ends up doing for us. Because what else do we have? We have Amnesty for officials. You require no resistance in any state. Right now, they're all like 50%, 40%. Yeah, no, I mean, they're, they're pretty, uh, they're still pretty angry with us, unfortunately. Not that there's anything I think I can really do about that. How are you guys doing, by the way? You have 100% compliance, which is a little annoying for me. I will say, I think in a reality in which uh, the French commune collapsed, and there was like a new government in Paris, I don't think the French Republic would be able to really stitch itself together at this point. Like, it, it has utterly failed to recapture Paris or even anywhere on the mainland. I don't see a reality in which the French Republic is able to hold on to any territory whatsoever in, in a post-Second Villacrieg world. What are, what, are we, what are we even doing here, man? Supply hubs? Sure, let's build supply hubs in our, uh, in our allies' territory. And then... Uh, does this do, like, if I build factories here, does this do anything for their compliance? I don't think so, but you know what? Let's build a bunch of, uh, factories in France. I'm willing to, I'm willing to be nice to the Frenchmen, at least for this small period of time. Get more of you guys going. I should have actually saved up my political power. Well, that's fine. What do you do? New social democracy. Political power game 7%. All socialist parties lose power. You are political power gains. So that's like a 25% boost, which, which is, that's actually pretty good. The Grand Duchy of Thuringia. Encouraged by the government in Berlin, the representatives of the small Thuringian states, Saxe Weimar, Einach, Saxe Meiginen, Saxe Altenburg, Saxe Goth um, Goldberg Gotha, uh, Schweisberg, Schandershund, all these places, uh, gathered in the city of Weimar to deliberate on the unification of these small monarchies in the one Thuringian state. British and Thuringia and the statelets, which, uh, with their own governments and laws, has uh, held back the development and progress of the state for quite some time. And finding a resolution to this vision has been on the minds of politicians pursuing centralization for a while. After some time, a little, uh, and a little bit of pressure from Berlin, a working agreement has been found. A united Thuringia will be established in the Grand Duke Karl August II of saxe weimar Einstein, the largest of the small state, will be crowned Jan uh, Grand Duke of Thuringia. However, the other princes will retain their property and their lineages will be represented in the upper house of the Thuringian Landstag alongside uh, appointed and elected peers. Thor House will be elected via universal suffrage, and the government will reside in Vimir. Okay, congratulations to you. Where even is Vimir? Actually, I don't know off the top of my head. I think it's somewhere, obviously... I think it's around here somewhere. But actually, I don't, I don't know. Or is it over here? Does anybody know? Does anyone know where Vimir is? I'm gonna say no. Is it not actually? It might not even. I guess it's not even on the map. It's so insignificant of a city that they're not even. Uh, they're they're not even located here. How depressing for them. You know what? Actually, we probably could use some um, supply hubs in this area here. So let's try to get those ones going first. Then, of course, we're going to need railways to them. So yeah, so we, can, we can just get that stuff going. That seems like a, a reasonable use of our resources. Considering where we're kind of at. Russian Federation. Because you don't actually give us any events either, right? I do not believe so. You get a temporary research slot for uh, two years? I mean, that's interesting, but I don't think I need seven research slots. That, that seems maybe, maybe like a bit too many. Sure, we get rocket engines. Uh, we'll take you, sure. Did I never take the 1940 research? How embarrassing. How embarrassing for myself. You know what we are going to do? We're just going to do focus auto complete focus dot no checks. We're just, we're, we're just going to see what everything else in here is, right? So we'll do all of you. Um, 
We'll take all of these just to see kind of what they do for us. I right, clear War Romania. Oh yeah, I guess that's to get rid of the legionary government, but there actually is not a legionary government. So we can take these off, but you know what, sure, fuck it, we can invade Romania. Just one last, uh, little fuck you to the world. Oh, Ukraine, I do need you in this war. So that my troops can actually move in. There we go! Legacy of the Second Vilkrieg. So upon completion of National Focus, each uh, movement of economic law towards civilian economy will grant us five civilian factories. Yay? I mean, we have almost 500 factories right now, so I'm not too sure if it's really going to make a big difference one way or the other. All of you just move towards uh, Bucharest, please. I, I can't imagine Romania is going to be able to do anything to stop us. Come on, Romania. You know, you lost against Bulgaria. You're going to lose against me too, okay? It, it is inevitable. I'm a little bit disappointed there wasn't more kind of post-war content. I think that would have been nice. Are they retreating here? They are. The fools. No, oh, they were—they got out. What the hell? How, who, got, who let them get out of here? How did they escape? How did that happen? We're, we're, do I have any aircraft on you? I have all these aircraft, but they have lost their mission. There you go. Now you figured it out. Now I do know that in the recent patch they have fixed that bug. Which is nice. Okay, there goes Bucharest. Romania is dead. I, can, I wasn't really expecting to kill Romania. It just kind of happens. But if we just lie and say that they're basically the remnants of the... Uh, they're the remnants of the legionary government. Then I'm allowed to steal the Romanian oil fields, and I would say that seems like a uh, a positive development for us. So if you will allow me to fate of Romania, liberate the Romanian state. Sure, let's do some re uh, resume changes. Why not? You can annex up. Wait, we can we have to annex them? Wait, Poland's accepted a regime change. The populace in Warsaw have capitulated toward demands, and the constitution, uh, constitutional government under our rightful monarchy has been restored. The Kaiser's son was reluctant to restore to the, uh, to return to the throne, citing his low popularity and risk of a turn could pose. Well, there we go. Realignment successful in Ukraine. For some time now, the Ukrainian state, while seemingly under the autocratic administration of Hetman Pavlo Skorzepetsky, uh, has truly been led from the shadows by the Ottoman minister, Ivan uh, Potvats Orsiyatsaya. The Ottoman minister's uh, rule has been marked with grave abuse and authoritarian rule almost, almost unseen in Eastern Europe. Okay, great news. And it looks like the Baltics have said no. So I will just simply kill you. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry that I had to come to this. But I will just simply kill you. And we will just replace your government with a friendly one. How's that sound, idiot? Okay, everybody's joined the war. Of course, they have literally no chance of fucking hell of actually winning. They are at war with everyone in Europe. Okay, Red Army. I need you to advance as quickly as possible. Move your way towards Riga. I don't know what our allies are doing. There, okay, now they're actually pushing their way in. Is there any more regime changes we can do? Belarus already support. Okay, Belarus and uh, Lithuania, they already support our cause. Excellent. Well, I'm happy that Poland and everyone is, uh, has seen the uh, has seen the light. I appreciate that. What are you gonna do? Like, you're not. It, it, it's never been more over for you. Like, I'm sorry to say. Riga's going to collapse, we can take Ravel, and then that's just game over for you. Improve fire control is great, basic fire control. We, we figured out the better one. Let's make the dog shit one as well. Just for a bit of redundancy. 
guys are lasting, I would say, a little bit longer. Our embassy in Vilnius is worried, has uh, worrying news that the Lithuanian nation is heading towards greater autonomy. Our shattered econo economy found it harder to manage and to aid the country in Eastern Europe. It turns out that Lithuanian economic re uh, reforms have drawn them further away from the Reichs Pact rather than closer. Are they leaving our faction? They've decoupled a little bit. They're now more autonomous. That's fine. I don't think I need to worry about that too much. If they want to be autonomous, they can be autonomous. I don't... Uh, genu I, I could not care any less. Okay, Ravel is going to collapse. I was going to say, like, you should be dead now. There we go. You guys here. Post-war growth, sure, why not? And I think that's, like, that's basically it. I don't think there's anything else we really need to do. Let's restore the Baltic Duchy. This time under uh, a, a proper democratic government. We could we do this little slice of territory here. We'll give it to the Baltics, though. I'm not going to give it to the Russians. Like, don't be, don't be a fool. Like, that's not going to happen. But I think with that, seems like as, as good a time as any to end off this episode, and I think end off the campaign here. So if you've enjoyed, remember to thumbs up. Nodjo, we can always thumb down. If you want to see more, subscribe, and goodbye.